Welcome to your Imperial Castle, Your Highness. Here you will learn how to run an estate and keep your population content. To scroll around the map, push the mouse pointer to the edge of the screen. The mouse wheel zooms the map, and if you press and hold it, your stockpile is an important storage building containing a wide variety of goods. Left-click on the stockpile icon, then left-click on an empty space on the ground to place it. Wood has been transferred from your starting goods into your stockpile and is now available to use in construction. Placing other storage buildings will later bring down other starting goods. For the castle to really take off, we will need to bring in peasants. At the moment, we are unpopular and the peasants' instincts are to leave our castle. Examine the popularity area and we will remedy this situation. That tax rate is the problem. High taxes provide lots of gold, but will make you unpopular. Reduce the tax rate to no taxes. That will bring the peasants back. We are now in positive popularity, and peasants will come to our castle. The higher our popularity, the faster they will come. However, should we ever become unpopular again, they will leave. Peasants are very fickle in my experience. If you ever need to boost popularity in a hurry, we can reduce the tax rate further to bribe our peasants with gold instead of taxing them. A more sustainable source of popularity is feeding our people. Click on the Food Buildings icon. Now left-click on the Granary icon. Then left-click again on another empty spot to place it. Excellent! The Granary has now received its starting goods. Now we can really encourage our peasants by setting a generous ration level for rice. Set the rice ration level on the popularity controls to normal. It's time to start expanding our town. At the moment, we have some peasants waiting in front of the keep. Let's give them some work to do. Click on the industry buildings icon. Now click on the wood camp and build four wood camps near the bamboo trees. When you are finished, you can right click to stop placing buildings. Ah, notice how the idle peasants have automatically become woodcutters. This is a good thing, Your Highness, as there is usually a lot of wood needed in the construction of a village. Your Highness, I can see a problem brewing. Left-click on the granary you built earlier to open the trouble with feeding our peasants, Highness, is that our rice stocks are dwindling. Rice is a staple food, and our people will be very unhappy if they do not have any. We could reduce our rice ration level, or buy some more rice, but I suggest we start rice production at the castle. Now let's get our rice farms up and running. Click on the Food Buildings icon and place down three rice fields near the granary. Well done, Your Highness. Our granary will soon fill with rice. Let's add some variety to our crops. Go to the Build menu and place down two vegetable fields. Once these vegetable fields get going, we will be able to raise vegetable rations for extra popularity. 
However, we can already set the vegetable rations rate before any vegetables are delivered. Go to the popularity tab and set the vegetable rations rate to normal. Good. Now our rations rate will update as soon as there are vegetables in the granary. However, one of our vegetable fields lies idle. This is because we've used up all of our available peasants. And although we are popular, peasants will not come as there is no more room. This keep gives us space for eight peasants. We can add more space by placing houses. Go to the build menu and place down a house. Very clever, your highness. You have solved the population issue. What's more, you have increased your popularity because peasants like living in high quality houses. Higher quality houses will increase popularity but are more expensive than lower quality houses. Click on the military buildings icon and place a barracks. We are going to arm some of the peasants. Now left click on the barracks to open its interface. With no weapons made, we can only arm our peasants with primitive tools. Click and create five spear tribesmen. Our troops are ready and just in time. It appears that a ferocious tiger has been sighted near the village. This is having a poor effect on popularity. Let's kill that tiger and restore calm to the castle. Select all your tribesmen by holding down the left mouse button and dragging a box around them. Okay. Now right-click on the map to move your selected troops to the highlighted area. Little. Now our men are in range. Right-click on the tiger to order our men to attack him. Well done, your highness. I can see you are a natural leader of men. I think my work here is done and the tutorial over. Would you like to continue here for a little while longer? Through generations of rule over the Van Lang Kingdom, the Hung Kings have overseen many improvements in technology and industry, with reliable irrigation methods securing rice as a staple crop to support a thriving population. But their dynasty is also marked by ongoing campaigns of war, which have suppressed the villages and towns of this land. Eager to continue expansion, the Hung King turns his gaze to the tribes in the north and his armies march to the frontiers. North of Van Lang, many tribes flourish on the fertile lands at the base of the mountains. But the Thuk tribe is in a precarious position. Their leader has died, and now his son, Thuk Fan, must take on the role of king at a young age. His people are proud and resilient, with battle-hardened warriors. But the neighbouring tribes believe they have spotted a moment of weakness. They see the new ruler as inexperienced and have combined their forces to unseat the new king with an immediate attack. A message from Thuk Fan. To me, my warriors, we will win this day.
Highness, our numbers are strong, but there are troops holding back. I suggest you take the warriors near our keep and bring them into the fray. We are under attack! I've been here a long time, Highness. Will my skills be needed soon? We have fended them off, but more are coming. I suggest reinforcing our numbers before they arrive, Highness. Our numbers are bolstered. How reassuring. And just in time, I see troops on the horizon. A message from Thuk Fan. Well defended, my friend. Your command fills me with pride. Now, you must show that you can run a village with equal skill. Remember, Highness, that we must keep popularity high to attract new peasants. Maybe plant more rice fields to allow us to feed the peasants more. They seem to appreciate this. Can't place that there, Highness. With these farms all in place, bountiful harvests will be delivered to the granary, and we have the option to increase rice rations. This will deplete rice stocks faster, but also improve your popularity, Excellence. With such generous rice rations, your popularity has risen. This means we can raise taxes and bring more gold into the treasury. Our village economy is flourishing, However, we are now running low on wood. I would suggest placing some wood camps, sire. A message from Thuk Fan. It is time to stop cowering and look outwards. Let's see what your warriors can do. By capturing the neighboring warlords of this region, the king can send a stark message to any who still challenge him. Each warlord must be defeated in combat before he will swear loyalty to you. Toàn bộ lạc, đứng lên. Đôi chân của chúng tôi đang di chuyển Chúng tôi đi ngay bây giờ Hãy tìm kẻ thù của chúng ta Dân, đội trưởng Dân Ngọn giáo của chúng ta rất bén nhọn Hãy tiến đến ngọn núi đá Yours to command. This warlord is now under your command, Excellency. Click on the warlord's button to open the warlord's map. This map shows an overview of the whole battlefield. Your estate is marked with the icon of your lord. The other estates are held by local warlords and can be captured to acquire strategic advantages. Click on your newly captured warlord 
to view the edicts available to them. We are under attack! Your goods have been sent. A smart move, Highness. The shipments are on their way. Each warlord type has a unique set of edicts available, as well as a unique perk when under your control. A message from Thuk Fan. With honor, the Thuk clan rises. You have proven my trust is well placed, but we are not secure here yet. We must capture one more warlord before the neighboring tribes leave us be. It's good to have friends, I'm told. Hey, tiến đến ngọn núi đá. Dân, đội trưởng. Đôi chân của chúng tôi đang di chuyển Toàn bộ lạc đứng lên Một ngày tuyệt vời để chiến đấu Hãy tìm kẻ thù của chúng ta Ok Đôi chân của chúng tôi đang di chuyển Ngài đang nói với chúng tôi Vâng Họ sẽ không nghe thấy chúng tôi Toàn bộ lạc đứng lên It was not long before Thuk Phan was both respected and feared by the Riverland tribes. With the charisma and energy of a young leader, he gathered more and more peoples under his banner. Meanwhile, the Hung King's armies amass ever closer to the border, spreading fear of an impending invasion among the northern tribes. To stand any chance against the empire, Thuk Phan must bring together the disparate tribes into a well-trained and disciplined army. A message from Thuk Phan. We have reached the edge of the Empire's reach. Be on the lookout. That nearby Hung outpost is sure to notice our presence before long. Highness, houses provide the capacity needed to grow our population. Our houses are a bit meager right now, and this is hurting our popularity. A wise ruler would build higher quality housing for a popularity boost to bring in more peasants. Our troops will need better weapons than spears to take on these settlements. 
To train a properly equipped army, we need weapons workshops to construct bows and axes and an armory to store them. A message from Thuk Fan. We are on the way to glory, my friend. With small steps, we begin the makings of a great upheaval. This building is currently functioning, Highness.长官,有何吩咐?少尉,有何吩咐?出发! Woman 有何吩咐? A message from Thuk Fan. Scouts report our home contingent is heading in our direction. I knew we would not be left alone here. Be ready for a fierce battle. We must show the Hong Empire that we do not fear them. Our troops are ready. Now I recommend showing these warlords where their allegiance belongs. 
I am yours to command. Your taxes have been paid. The Hong forces will be here soon. We should train up more troops to ready our defense, my lord. We are almost out of Reich's Highness. A message from Thuk Fan. They are here! To arms, my companions! The enemy approach. I am under attack. I am yours to command. Your taxes have been paid. The enemy approach. I am under attack. Shenzuo Jingshan.
I am yours to command. Highness, we now have enough diplomacy points to issue edicts. But beware, our warlords can also be attacked and captured by our enemies, so they must be protected carefully. Your taxes have been paid. The enemy approach. We are under attack! Weapons needed, Highness. So, uh, the enemy approach. Uh. Shang to command. One warlord left to go, and you will have full control of this area. The enemy approach. So we... 我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。我退路了。
under attack! Your taxes have been paid. Shen 后备军就绪 Chúng ta nên đi đâu Chúng tôi đi ngay bây giờ Một ngày tuyệt vời để chiến đấu And 
under attack! Not enough gold to train this unit. Okay. Hey, think that you won't do that? Command. A message from Thuk Fan. Your taxes have been... The revolution spreads! Excellent work! No warlord around will be welcoming a force of Van Lang in a hurry. We have gained the loyalty of these warlords, but have limited diplomacy points to issue edicts. If you build a consulate, it will increase our flow of diplomacy points. 